Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. So in front of me, as you can see, I have a pair of KZZS10s and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be opening these shells up. I'm going to actually try to open them up. I don't know how I'm going to do that, but I guess I'll figure it out. Anyway, I'm going to open these up. I'm going to take out each and every driver and then I'm going to test them out to see if they work. I've always been curious to, to just to know if if every driver fr uh, f excuse me if every driver functions properly within now uh, these multiple driver KZ earphones so i figured you know what why not just test it out with these uh five driver earphones these you got five drivers in each earphone another reason why i wanted to do this was because i feel safe doing it now because i have a another pair of KZZS 10s with me that gearbest did send out to me um, if you guys don't know what Gearbest is, they are a tech website. They sell smartphones, earphones, and they actually, a lot of times, actually, they beat AliExpress with pricing. So you might want to check them out. I'll have a link in the description below. So anyway, yeah, brand new pair of KZZS 10s. So with my old pair, I'm going to be opening them up and testing out every single driver. I'm going to try not to damage any of the internals. Hopefully, I'll uh, manage that. I just have to figure out how I'm going to do this, but I'm going to be right back. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but so far, okay, basically I've tried opening it up over here at the top, but it really wasn't budging at all like this. This, really, this, this thing is glued pretty well. So what I did was I went from the other side. And what I wanted to show you is check this out. I'm trying to focus and zoom in. So just give me a second. Okay, there are chambers in, for each driver basically. So. I don't know if you guys, if the camera's picking that up, but you got three sections over there. So for the first one, that's for the um, dynamic driver. Then you have um, one chamber for the two balanced armature drivers on the left side. And then you have another chamber, as you guys can see, for the other two balanced armature drivers. So it's really cool because they're kind of uh, separated. They've got their own chambers. And if you actually look at the shell, you can see that as well. So I just wanted to show you that. But now I'm going to continue working on my way into getting these drivers out without damaging any of the in internals. A few moments later. So check this out, I've finally gotten the top off, as you see right here, it's kind of, it kind of just fell off and all the internals are intact. So you can see the solder points, everything looks good. I didn't ruin anything, I just now need to get to the balanced armature drivers which are still kind of sandwiched in there. So I'm going to start peeling away this uh, acrylic right here. And we're almost there. I just removed this large chunk. So as you can see, I've got two balanced ar armature drivers freed up. And then I've still got another two more stuck in this piece of plastic right here, which I'm going to try to move as carefully as possible. I'm going to try to pop them up with this um, Swiss knife pick. So let's see if I can just do it very carefully. Trying to apply as little pressure as possible. And as you can see, it's sliding out slowly. So, oh, there we go. I just got, you can see the glue residue just coming off right there. And there you have it. So I just plugged in the audio cable into the port very carefully. And now I'm going to test it out. So let me go ahead and plug it into my audio source, which is going to be my iPhone. Once I plug that in, 
I'm going to play out some audio and listen to each and every driver and hopefully we're going to get sound out of every single one. So let's go ahead and try that out. I've got my audio hooked up. As you can see, the cable is hooked up to the iPhone. I got the audio playing. That is a no copyright uh, song, loyalty free, all that good stuff. And as you can hear, the sound is coming out from the earphone. Now I'm gonna test each and every driver just to make sure that they do work. Okay, so I gotta cover up one of the drivers here. Um, the dynamic driver, since it is the largest and it is um, emitting the most or the loudest sound. So I'm gonna cover it up with some blue tack and hopefully that'll quiet everything down so that I can pay attention to each individual driver. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. Just thinking about it now, it would be a lot easier if I had one of those decibel um, measures. You know what I mean? They're able to measure the decibel sounds. Um, I don't have that so I'm going to have to solely rely on my ears. So what I'm gonna do is each individual driver I'm going to cover up within my ear and hopefully I'll be able to hear sound out of every single one of them. So each individual driver is going to go in my ear. I'm going to cover up my ear with my finger. Try to create a, I'll try to create a good seal, you know, similar to that of an ear plug. And yeah, hopefully that'll work. Okay, so I got the first driver here. Okay, I'm definitely hearing sound out of that one. So I'm going to go ahead and mark it with a Sharpie so that I know that I've already checked it. Okay, that's done. Let's move on to the next one now. So we know that that one, we know that that one has sound. Let's go over to the next one. That one has sound too. Just to make sure, yep. Absolutely, that one has sound as well. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay, there we go. Just get that in my ear. That one has sound too. So we're looking good. We got, what do we have? We have three out of four. Let's mark that. And for the last one, just make sure it's not marked. So we got, that one was checked. That one was checked too. So I believe it's this one right here. This one is clear. There's nothing marked on there. So let's go ahead and check that out. Make sure the song is still playing or the track is still playing. Get all the other ones out of the way. And we've got sound. So it looks like every single driver in this KZ, or what was it, KZZS10 is working fine. So that's good. That's actually uh, relieving to hear. So the solder points look good too. So yeah, that's, that's relieving that all of them work. Um, I always thought that maybe one or two of them were dummies, but apparently not. So, two thumbs up. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. I just wanted to check that out. Uh, hopefully, if you guys found this uh, video helpful and you want, to do, you want me to do more videos like this in the future, you know, testing out units, uh, taking them apart and stuff like that, let me know in the comments section below. Otherwise, that's gonna be it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in my next video. Peace.